Good evening. Uh, the news uh, summary for this uh, Friday, 23rd uh, of June. The 14 accused uh, in the alleged uh, fraud case uh, of Novobank were released on bail today. They have been accused of uh, having received stolen money paid into their bank accounts. The money at stake was digital money, commonly referred to as a cryptocurrency. The prosecutor requested that the defendants remain in custody as it was believed that they could escape. But there was not enough evidence to show that they knew that the money that had been deposited into their accounts was stolen money. There was also insufficient evidence that they were in contact with criminals whom the police suspected of having committed certain financial crimes that is stealing money. Judge Melchior Vidot therefore ordered the release on bail of these four Seychellois and the ten Kenyans. Most of the defendants are employed by a large Seychelles-based company. But Judge Vidot insisted that the 14 defendants should appear in court whenever the case is heard and that they should have valid reasons why they should not appear in court. The court is expected to hear the case again in three weeks' time. The President's Office has announced uh, the state visit of uh, the Rwandan President, Paul Kagame, to Seychelles, during which he will be the guest of honour at this year's National Day Parade. President Kagame's visit is at uh, the invitation of uh, President Wevel Ramkalawan. During the visit, President Kagame will hold bilateral discussions with President Ramkalawan at State House. It is anticipated that uh, memoranda of understanding and agreements will be signed. He will also address an extraordinary session of the National Assembly. President from Kalawan is uh, holding uh, the last public meeting at district uh, level. The meeting uh, this evening for residents of the St. Louis district is ongoing at the former school mills center in Victoria. The series of meetings which have been held in all the districts of my Pralin and Nadig started on the 25th of May. The Seychelles Postal Services is to issue its first non-fungible token stamps that will be sold through a stamp DAC, a digital philately platform well recognized by the World Postal Union. The Cabinet of Ministers, chaired by President uh, Ramkalawan, has approved for the project to proceed. Vice President Ahmed Afif said that uh, would be another source of revenue to the country as it would be sold on a wider market. What it allows is for Seychelles to be able to sell stamps in a modern way and in a digital way and allow stamp collectors around the world to purchase and Postal Services benefits from the commissions on these sales. And uh, it benefits from a much wider market, and it benefits from a much faster method of financial transaction. They estimate that this could bring fairly important revenue amounts to them over the next couple of years, which could be um, up to five to six million dollars over the next five to seven years. The Seychelles Tourism Academy, together with the Department of Employment, organized a recruitment fair today at the Seychelles Tourism Academy. The aim is to encourage students to apply for a job in the tourism industry before they graduate in August this year. Waiters, reservations agents and chefs were among uh, jobs being offered by the 21 tourism establishments which were present at the fair. The fair opened for students in the morning and from 1 p.m. for members of the public. The Academy's director, Terence Max, expressed his satisfaction with the turnout at the fair. The main objectives of this recruitment fair are firstly to ensure that every Seychelles Tourism Academy learners graduating in August 2023, approximately 185 of them, are able to secure a job opportunity. And secondly, this uh, platform today will provide uh, an occasion for us to continue to bolster our working relationship with all of our stakeholders and trade partners who are pivotal to the success of the Seychelles Tourism Academy. Through this recruitment fair, 
is an opportunity for learners to have easy access to companies with available vacancies, facilitating them through an organized process that is followed through during job fairs. Moreover, it will provide the perfect forum for all participants to exchange ideas and thoughts on the industry and the employment situation in this sector at large. Talk shop and food van operators who are doing businesses in public schools met with the Minister for Education and other officials in a meeting yesterday. Hygiene, nutrition and the free breakfast program were amongst some topics discussed during the meeting. The chairperson of the Tuck Shop Operators Association, Joseph Payet, said that the meeting was fruitful, but there are things, especially in regards to the free breakfast program, that needs to be discussed further. It is the first time that such a meeting is organized, and Mr. Payet said that it needs to be done more regularly. The Women Parliamentary Caucus from the National Assembly met with the students from Plaisance Secondary School this morning to discuss uh, on the roles and responsibilities of the National Assembly. During the meeting, students were able to ask questions uh, on different subjects, such as what the National Assembly is doing to eliminate social issues such as uh, child abuse, uh, drug trafficking and alcohol and drug abuse. The members of uh, the Women Parliamentary Caucus uh, from the National Assembly also discussed on the challenges that they face and how they overcome these challenges as members of the National Assembly. The chairperson of the Women Parliamentary Caucus, Regina Esparon, said that they were pleased with the level of participation. The aim of the meeting was to engage with the, with the pupils from the secondary school that are participating in the Jupo Fedingra Award. And they send the invitation to the Women's Caucus of the National Assembly. And instead of inviting them to the National Assembly, we decided as a caucus to join them, because it was a big group, to join them at the school to be able to, to elaborate on issues that they highlighted in the invitation, which they wanted to know what is the role and challenges of the Women's Caucus itself. And uh, 23 students from École Française and the Montfleury Secondary School have been chosen to participate in the Olympic Games, which will be held in uh, Paris, France, next year. The announcement was made today on the occasion of the International Olympic and Paralympic Day. For the occasion, the director of the French school, Christophe Consigny, the French ambassador to the Seychelles, Olivia berkeley Christman, and the Minister of Educa for Education, Dr. Justin Valentin launched what they called the 24th generation. During today's event, Dr. Valentin also spoke strongly about Olympic values such as uh, sportsmanship amongst uh, students. And with this, we come to the end of this uh, news summary. We'll be back at 8 with the news uh, in Creole. Good evening.